Justice or politics? Nine of the 12 Catalan separatist leaders on trial have already been detained for up to 15 months. Their defence lawyers say they're political prisoners. We could say with evidence and objectivity that we won't have a fair trial. It's not because we're erratic, but because we have a list of arguments that objectively point to that being the case. They argue their defendants committed no real acts of violence in their bid to make Catalonia an independent republic, but the prosecution sees it differently. The argument by the prosecution is that there was violence. This violence was not merely physical. The prosecution went a bit further and said that it's an entire environment created to violate the state. Spain's legal system allows any citizen or organization to be an accuser alongside public prosecutors. In this case, it's far-right party Vox. Whereas the government has defended the impartiality of the courts, Vox hasn't shied away from politics. They should be given the longest prison sentences possible to send a message to all the separatist political parties that they cannot organize a coup d'etat in Spain and get away with this. Vox is hoping to get some of its representatives into the European Parliament in May elections. They could continue to rise in the polls depending on the trial's verdict, which is likely to be several months from now.